Well, you may not realize it, but there's actually another parade in D.C. this week. It is the Emancipation Day Parade, and a fight over funding is actually putting it in jeopardy. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford joins us to explain how a solution may now be in the works. Sam? Two years ago, Councilmember Vincent Orange maneuvered control of the city's Emancipation Day festivities from the mayor's office to the council, and then last year got a $100,000 increase in the budget. So the mayor's people this year were saying, well, you can pay for police and fire. But, but the council member said they didn't do it quickly enough. They didn't have the money. There was a budget impasse that was finally resolved this afternoon. Could the Emancipation Day Parade be held up this year because nobody budgeted for the police and fire overtime? I think that would be a shame because Emancipation Day is very important. But uh, she's not going. In fact, relatively few attend the parade to mark blacks being freed in D.C. since Councilmember Vincent Orange revived it 14 years ago. What we're talking about now is outside the planning process we never heard of. And he says after months of city meetings over a $350,000 budget for a parade, workshops, and concert plus fireworks, the mayor's folks never mentioned 90000 for police and fire overtime until last week. And to me, it's just an a executive bombshell and it's an act of sabotage. And we're dealing with this the day before Emancipation Day. We found many here have never attended the parade. The one in Jamaica I did. But not, not, here. not here. I have never been. Oh, what is that? Like Emancipation Proclamation? Council Chairman Mendelson negotiated much of the day with the mayor's office. I'm trying to work it out. What's that mean? That's the best you're going to get out of me. But by this afternoon, the mayor told us they'd worked out a deal. In return for us covering costs that we thought you were going to cover, uh, we will now reassume control of operating this event. That means the mayor's office, which ran a much cheaper event until two years ago, resumes control, and Vincent Orange, who's running this year's event? No individual council member will be running the event, even though they're certainly welcome to weigh in on how they would like to see it run. Of course, big winners tomorrow in the D.C. Emancipation Day are D.C. government workers. All but essential workers will have the day off. The D.C. government will be closed. Reporting from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.